Hello out there. It's me, Coach Coach Kevin, coming to you from the library. This is take two. Um, too bad it didn't work on take one because Derek came through and never had a guest, <laughs> never had a guest star on these uh, videos. Uh, in any event, uh, today today was a much better day. Um, we had a good use of happy numbers. Uh, there were all twenty five students were active today and this week. The um, uh, the activity was good. We, um, oh, I, I'm, I'm starting to figure out the inner workings of this. So when we have parent conferences, I can, I can show you what's going on with uh, happy numbers. Uh, IXL is good for some things, mostly for students who have a solid math understanding, um, either solid or, or uh, accelerated math understanding. Uh, we, 20 students mastered this filling in the ma uh, missing digits. Um, however, some of them got really, really difficult, uh, only 4% mastered, um, and one of them, this is one student, and man, look at this, they got 100, and look, it went up here, 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 so 140, they finally did it, however, it took that student 59 minutes, and that's, if, if a student really wants to do it, and they're a go-getter, this is the type of person who... Um, I call this document too much of a good thing. Uh, so this is all, like spend an hour on a lesson only if like you really want that satisfaction. Otherwise, 20 minutes is plenty. <laughs> good job, though. Pretty sure that was you, Aaron. Good job. Uh, so what are we on to? Oh, the reason I'm a, a fan of happy numbers for students that are still building their math fluency is it has. Um, let's see if I can do this here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and then there's one, two, three, four, five. Let's see how I did. Too many ones. Four plus three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, the first add end. Got it. So I was supposed to take away. Oopsie. I'm supposed to, first I'm supposed to model 34. I see. I got too excited. And I got too many of those. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. Okay, done. Let's try this again. Okay, the first add end, good. Second add end, 23. One, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, so that, yeah, the, this is good visually, and I think the, the faster a student does this, or in this case, teacher, uh, it'll start to, total should be seven. It'll start to um, put the student on the track of um, accel more accelerating the lesson. So yeah, 57. Oh, I also, I think, well, you can't hear it, but um, one of the things that I encourage the students to do, definitely at school and even at home, is to it's actually pretty satisfying, but I'll skip it. Um, so that's that's this, and then the second one is uh, uh, subtracting with um, borrowing. Oops. All right, so let's see how this is, because the the IXL version of this is uh, not nearly as user friendly. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. So it show it models the algorithm for subtracting. Can I subtract the ones? Nope. Because I need to borrow. Do you have a tens disk? No. We don't even have a hundreds disk. Yeah, this is this feels very sound to me. We sure do. We have a thousands. So they're gonna break up the thousands. Deal. Oh. Trade 1,000 for 10 hundreds. <coughs> I get it. Oh, I dragged the disk. I see it now. Okay. And then now I'm pretty sure. So now you have zero thousands. You're going to have 10 of these for now. Yes, we do. And now you're going to trade one of them. Oh, this is very satisfying. See, if this was around when I was in, well, third grade, fourth grade, whatever. So now it's nine. And that has 10, but only briefly, right? Because then this is going to go, yep. And this is going to go here. Boop. Yeah, cool. All right, so now we have um, we have a, an explanation rather than just, you know, cross it out, put the number above. Cross it out, put the number above. When I was a, um, a student, a lot, I was so visual, I still am, but I was so visually based I didn't really understand the significance of thousands to hundreds to tens to ones um, as someone who was a nat natural um, for math. I'm a uh, mathematical 
Um, not oh, visually fluent. Okay, three, three. There we go. All right, and then they, the students are going to put that three sixty three. So um, that's what we're doing for math. Oh, well, we're doing this it, when we're doing digital math. This is what we're doing. I got to put this in. All right, how'd I do? Do I get a little pair? Yeah. Cool. All right, that's all for now. Uh, so A's hits. Um, we are going to do this. Uh, we I did this, and this is one of the first lessons I did after COVID. Um, at the high school. So this is the video. Um, what I do is I spin. If it lands on green, I put a green mark. If it lands on blue, red, etc. And then the um, the different marks indicate a, a single, a double, a triple, or home run. And we record it in terms of um, bases. So if it's a single, it's a one. If you had a home run, that's four bases. And then you total those up for the bottom. And so I made these. It's a little different than what we did today, uh, but hopefully that makes enough sense to um, any students that might be watching this now. Um, and you know, I left instructions for the sub tomorrow. I um, think that's the big stuff. Yeah, that's the big stuff. Okay. I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, hmm. Aloha. Oh, oh. We're making rice so much, we're starting to get low on rice um, and nori. But it's working fabulously. I have a picture to share. Um, the watching, watching the students like line up and distribute this, um, it's just, it's the sweetest, most wholesome thing. Um, mm, okay, so thanks for that. Uh, be well. <laughs>